look, as usual, um, can we get it, get started with a little bit more about your background? Um, Nakul, I'm based in Melbourne. Um, from India, I've been uh, been in Melbourne for about eleven years now. Uh, came here as a student at uh, Deakin University, uh, Norwood campus. Uh, been here for eleven years, uh, pretty much straight through. Haven't been to any other city, to, to be honest. Uh, and from a living perspective, so I love Melbourne and love being here. And as as you said, uh, I love playing cricket as well. Awesome. <laughs> that's that's where my journey started with my club that uh, too. And yeah, here we go. Cool. <laughs> All right, awesome. Um, and look, tell us about my club tap. How did you think of the idea? Ah, uh, it purely came off, uh, you know, from my my uh, uh, probably you know madness of playing fantasy cricket while uh, while I was young. I think I always had that uh, you know thing in my in my mind uh, playing fantasy cricket on on copies and pe with pens and you know doing scoring and calculating scores mm -hmm. uh, I thought why not you know try it out at my own club uh, I play at a small club here in Melbourne it's uh, called Deacon Trade Club uh, it's a pretty small club I thought it might be a good idea to actually you know create a game and try and see if I can get you know family members and friends of our, of ours to, to kind of buy in into the club followers during the season because that's something that generally doesn't happen as much uh, if you're not a very bigger club, generally the following at a local club would be would be very very small. So right. it might be a good idea to actually try something like this and you know, see you know if more people want to follow it. I think that's where that that was the pure reason of starting it. Uh, uh, that and I think you know what? Uh, go ahead, let's try and do it. I remember going to everyone, you know, sending them emails, getting them. Okay, can you send me eleven players? This is the list. Send me eleven players, and I'll do all the calculations and everything. So yeah, it was pretty crazy for the first two years that I did it. But being a small club, uh, I think we got about fifty people each, both the years, uh, playing that game. And I was like, okay, this is cool. <laughs> Quite a few people signed up, and that's how it started. So first two or first three years, it was just purely hobby. And uh, but I think over the years I saw uh, saw, more, saw more value and you know taking it further to others other clubs as well around me here in Melbourne, and that's kind of how it's kind of uh, you know uh, rolled on from there. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Um, and look, you mentioned obviously the first couple of years you started with your own club. Um, from a technical point of view, how did you manage to get to a product? I guess a product out there that you can actually use even for fifty players. Uh, well, for the first, as I said, for the first two years, it was purely uh, me and Excel files, <laughs> just right, right. calculations and trying to, you know, uh, as I said, I used to receive them on uh, on on a, on a Word document or something, and then the whole thing was on my end. I was doing all right. the calculations and everything uh, was pretty much me. But I think third year, third year is when I went out to other clubs around me uh, and said, you know what, uh, if I run a fantasy game for you, would you be happy and willing me? <laughs> Uh, willing for me to do it, even though I'm one, I'm from a club whom you're playing against. <laughs> yeah. That was the tricky part at that time, but uh, I think they were good enough, uh, you know, around around me and clubs around me whom I've played with or whom I've played against uh, at times. Uh, so yeah, I mean, I think third year is when third or fourth year, sorry, third or fourth year is when I kind of started building it uh, on WordPress. Got a friend of mine to help me out a little bit, you know, trying okay. to put in a bit more code work there. To see uh, from a technical aspect, that's the, the third year. Or third, third year is when we actually tried to start building it up a little bit more, where it could start working more automatically either than just on Excel files. So it, it's gradually grown. So those th year three and year four is when I think we went uh, online or tried to make more of a website kind of a thing around this. Right. But uh, yeah, the number of the clubs in the third and fourth year had gone from one, four, nine, and fifteen. So by the wow. end of fourth, like in the fourth season, I remember doing it for 15 clubs. Yeah, nice. You can imagine running 15 fantasy games rather than just one club. Hope you enjoyed this episode. If you'd like to check out more of our content, go to sporttechdaily.com or follow us on social media across Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook or Instagram.